high winds, low humidity, and dry brush. The ingredients of California's fire disaster are simple. All they need is a spark. If you get that ignition and you don't get that, if you don't get that ignition put out right away, then those are the conditions that allow a wildfire to spread uh, really uncontrollably. Hot winds from the desert blow eastward every October, just as the forest and brush is at its driest. Many wildfires are almost impossible to contain with winds of up to 160 kilometers per hour propelling the flames along. Fire experts say while brush fires are inevitable, the destruction they cause is not. It's going to be far easier, cheaper, and effective to re-engineer our homes and communities than to try to re-engineer the forest. If you just do one thing, uh, replace rooftops with non-flammable materials like a metal roof, that alone can increase the probability of a home surviving a wildfire by 90 to 95 percent. For more than a century, the conventional wisdom was to fight forest fires at almost all costs. The consequence? It has allowed thick underbrush and dry fuel to build up, making fires burn with even greater intensity. What we need to be doing is working with wildfires, not fighting against them. Uh, the whole war on wildfire paradigm is uh, a complete uh, distortion, and we're just throwing lots of blood and treasure into absolute folly. Making war on nature is essentially what it's about. Firefighters are doing their best. There's several thousand firefighters out on the line right now. Uh, we have firefighters from throughout California, San Diego to the Oregon border. But scientists say those who have built their homes and businesses in harm's way can't count on firefighters to save them. There's always a lag time in these fires between the time that the fire starts and the time that they can get people out of the way, getting resources in to um, start to um, protect against it. And it's in that lag time that people die. It's in that lag time that a lot of the, the bad things happen. A new approach in how people should deal with nature, along with changes in planning and building design, could help keep things from going from bad to worse. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.